know what? Hey guys, what's going on? It's that home theater dude. Got a brand episode for you today. Today I got a really cool video lined up for you guys. I have the PB3000 over there in the corner. I have the PB4000 right here. I've had this thing in the house for about a year, almost a, almost a year and a half. Really love that subwoofer and I've been extremely, extremely impressed with the 3000 series subwoofers. And um, on paper, if you guys look on the SVS website, they have a little tech info thing that you can click on. It shows graphs of the actual output performance of these things and it shows it by frequency. And if you look at the actual graphs, um, it kind of puts it to where the 3000 series is a little higher in you know, overall performance in graph wise. Um, than the 4000 series. And I noticed that it was the same thing on the 4000 series versus the 16 Ultra. So I don't know if necessarily the test changed or their parameters changed or something like that. Because I know for a fact that the 16 Ultra uh, definitely outperforms uh, in, in terms of overall sound and uh, quality than the, that the 4000 does. So the 4000, it's, it's, it's not a hit on the 4000 at all. The 4000 is amazing. But just in terms of raw performance, the 4000 and the 16 Ultra... 16 Ultra is going to win every single day. So uh, there, there was kind of a similar thing going on on the website with the 3000 and the 4000 series. I wanted to go ahead and do a couple tests today, uh, kind of pit them together, and ho hopefully come to a resolution of which one is ultimately better than the other one. So if you guys give me a moment, I'll go ahead and get everything started right after the intro.
Okay, so let's go ahead and recap this video. So I did the PB3000 versus the PB4000. I did the PB3000 in the uh, you know traditional uh, standard mode, and then I also switched it to where I put, uh, plugged up the ports, and then I changed it on the app, and then I made it to where it was going to be the actual sealed mode. Um, the sealed mode had really great transients, and in between the two, you could definitely tell a difference. Um, it didn't matter if it was just the 3000 series in standard mode and the 4000 series in standard mode. Uh, just a complete blind test, you can definitely tell that there was a difference. Keep in mind, this is a grain of salt, uh, grain of salt with this actual comparison. Uh, this one is in the corner and this one is front and center. So you have to consider room gain and room position with these overall type of um, uh, tests. So let's go ahead and talk about some specs. So over in the corner, we have the PB3000. That one's 800 watt amplifier and it can go up to 2500 plus. Um, and this one is the PB4000. It is 1200 watts and it can go up to over 4000 watts. Um, and, and, and that's just if you really push them. I had both of these above uh, the, the 10, the negative 10 value or, you know, around the negative 10 value. Um, this one was actually a little higher, but it, they were set up perfectly so that, you know, the, the, the test is actually valid. So with the actual test I went ahead and did, I got a peak DB on the PB3000 of 110.1. And then whenever I did the PB4000, I got 110.4. So the peaks were more or less around the same. But whenever you're actually listening to it, whenever I was sitting on the couch listening to the, the playback, the couch was shaking a whole lot more with the PB3000. The sound was coming from the PB4000 seemed like it was a little smoother. Um, now you have to consider that these things are in different positions and obviously they're, they, these things weigh a lot. So this is 153 pounds. That's I think 87 pounds, 80-ish 80, 80 pounds. So um, to move these things around, it, it, it gets really cumbersome. So um, for the sake of this test, I didn't go ahead and switch the positions uh, to make it an absolute true A-B test. Um, but it just goes, <laughs> it goes with the territory, man. Like the, these, the, these things are heavy and I'm not going to be moving them, them around the entire time. Uh, but whenever I was talking about the actual DBs that were coming through, it felt like with the PB3000 that the entire sound, the, the, the overall sound characteristics, it just seemed thicker and it was shaking the couch a little more. So um, whenever I was doing that, I kind of had the wife there as well. She just got home from work. She sat down on the couch and while I was playing that demo and she couldn't tell the difference in between the two. So I played it and she listened to both of them. She didn't know which ones was playing and she, she just couldn't tell. So um, if, if that means anything, then uh, to me, I could definitely tell a difference, but to the untrained person, um, having one that's 800 watts versus a 1200 watt uh, subwoofer and a difference of $500, I mean, it's, it's kind of a no-brainer. Why not go ahead and save some cash, get something that's, uh, that's newer, it's uh, slightly a little more efficient, I think, and you know, it's 800 watts and it's plenty because that, uh, that dual, wound, uh, dual edge wound voice coil really helps out. And I've been talking about that the entire time I've been having them. I've been talking it up because I really believe in that actual uh, design aspect of the actual subwoofer itself. Um, so that's it guys. I uh, really, really enjoyed making this video. It's been a long time coming. Uh, sadly, I got to go ahead and send these back. I have something special planned next. I have the PB4000 versus the PB16 Ultra. And then after that one, I have a brand new subwoofer coming. So if you guys want to go ahead and leave, uh, <laughs> your predictions down below, highly recommend it. And don't forget guys, I'm a, I'm, I'm an authorized uh, affiliate for SBS, Amazon, Klipsch, and, uh, Emotiva. So if you guys want links to any of this stuff, don't hesitate to go ahead and comment down below. I would love to give you guys links for that. Um, it really helps out the channel, helps the channel grow. And if you guys have been following over the last year, all this stuff is thanks to you guys for actually helping out and clicking those links because I really put a, a lot of that money right, right back in the home theater. So I get to have more testimonial. I, that means I get to do more reviews and I get to share my opinions with you guys so that whenever you guys are spending your cash, you guys know that you're getting you know top quality stuff. So I'm going to go in this video here. Make sure you like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the little subscribe notifications bell. Really appreciate it. Helps out with uh, getting these videos as soon as they come out. And that's it, guys. I'll go ahead and check you guys on the next one.